Hello everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library here for another awesome virtual vacation. And this time we're heading towards Mexico. So first we're going to read a little bit about Mexico and then we're going to make our own maracas. And then finally we're going to make a Mexican cookie called a polvorone and it's going to be delicious. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to be reading Living in Mexico by Chloe Perkins and we want to thank Scholastic for letting us read this today. Let's see. Hola. That means hi in Spanish. My name is Rosa and I live in Mexico. Mexico is a country in North America where more than 120 million people live, including me. Mexico is a beautiful country. Many people come here to visit pretty beaches and deserts or hike in the rainforests and mountains. The weather in Mexico is very different from place to place. Near the ocean and rainforest, the weather is hot and humid. In the mountains and on the plateau, the weather is dry and mild. Mexico has two big deserts in the north. The deserts are home to many plants and animals, such as roadrunners, mountain lions, and cactuses that can grow up to 60 feet tall. Two mountain ranges run down Mexico's east and west sides. Between the mountains is the Mexican Plateau. Many people live on the plateau. M Mexico's capital, Mexico City, is on the plateau. It was built at the top of an ancient city. Guadalajara holds a yearly festival for a special kind of Mexican music called mariachi. Cancun has some of the best beaches in the world. Oaxaca is home to a colorful festivals and folk art. I live in La Paz, a city in the Baja California Peninsula of Mexico. I live with my mom, my dad, brother, and sister. My parents work for a sailing company. They take people on sailboats to see gray whales. I love watching the whales. I love to study whales when I grow up. Every morning, I get ready for school. I brush my teeth and put on my school uniform. Then I comb my hair neatly. In Mexico, it's important to look neat and clean for school. Uh, for breakfast, we eat fried eggs, beans, and sauce on a tortilla. A tortilla is a round, flat piece of bread. After breakfast, my mom and dad drive me to school. My brother and sister go to a school for younger kids. I put my things away and talk to my friends about our reports. We are learning about archaeology, which is a study of ancient cultures. There are many places in Mexico where the remains of ancient cities still stand. School starts at 8 o'clock each morning. The first half of the day is taught in Spanish. After snack time, we are taught in English. I speak both languages. Our first lesson in Spanish is about Mexico's history. 10,000 years ago, people in the region started coming together to form the land. In 1500 BCE, the Olmec people began growing many things we have today, such as corn, beans, and cotton. Around 600 BCE, the Olmec split into different groups, one of which was the Mayans. Between 1325 CE and 1519 CE, the Aztec people conquered many groups and brought them together. The Aztecs built pyramids and temples, created jewelry and art, and lived in huge cities. In 1519 CE, Hernan Cortes, a European explorer, was sent to claim the Aztecs' land for Spain. In 1521, he succeeded. The Spanish conquered more and more people and took their land. They called the colony New Spain. Spain ruled for almost 300 years, but the people of New Spain wanted to be their own country. They wanted to be free. They fought many battles with Spain. The people won their freedom in 1821, and New Spain became Mexico. After our history lesson, we have snack. Today's snack is a juicy pineapple sprinkled with chili powder and lime juice. After we clean up, we start our math lesson in English. I really like math. Look, I got a 10 on my math test. In Mexico, we are graded with numbers instead of letters. A 10 is the best store you can get. We have geography and science lessons, and then school is over at 2 o'clock. My family picks me up for lunch. In Mexico, lunch is the most important meal of the day. My parents have a break from work to eat. 
For lunch, we are eating quesadillas. Quesadillas are like a sandwich. Cheese, beans, and chicken go on top of a tortilla. Then you put another tortilla on top and cook it. As we eat, we talk about our day. After lunch, my brother, sister, and I go to our after-school programs. In Mexico, many kids attend after-school programs while their parents work. My little brother and sister play soccer. I take a special art class for older kids. We are learning about Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo, two famous Mexican artists from the 1900s. Our parents pick us up when their work is over and we go home. In Mexico, we have a holiday in November called the Day of the Dead. We celebrate the lives of family and friends who have died. There are big parades and celebrations. I help my mom make a special bread. We will eat it tomorrow at the parade. My brother and sister put up pretty paper banners to decorate the house for the holiday. Dinner time. In Mexico, dinner is usually a light meal. Today we are having chilled avocado soup. Before bed, I read my book about whales, fish, and dolphins around the world. Someday, I'm going to sail to different countries to see them. Would you like to visit Mexico one day? Well, today we're going to pretend to visit Mexico and have some fun. You guys ready? So first, we're going to make a Mexican instrument called a maraca. And I've got a maraca right here. But we're going to make one that looks even cooler. And all you need for this are two spoons. I'm going to use plastic ones and an Easter egg and something to put in there. You can use dry rice or beans. I'm gonna use some beans. And then you're gonna need some tape. All right, that's just the oven getting ready to bake our cookies. All right, so all I have to do is you're gonna open up your egg and we're gonna put a little, some beads in there. And we're gonna just close it up like this. It's already starting to make a sound. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your eggs and you're gonna put it in between your spoons, just like that. You see how there's on one side? So it's almost like they're tongs and you could hold them. Now you can even shake it like this, but then if you want to keep it together, you can use some tape to tape it all together. And then if you want, you can even decorate the tape with all kinds of fun designs. You can decorate designs like the Aztecs used to. So there we go. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna wrap it around to keep it all together like this and what's even cooler is if you have really fun colored duct tape so here we go look at that i've got a maraca and on this one i used music notes for maracas there you go is that cool all right are you guys ready to make some cookies yes so for this recipe it's super super easy pavarones are a mexican wedding cookie and they also make it a lot around christmas time so it's really simple. All you need is a stick of butter, cinnamon, vanilla, a little bit of salt, flour, and powdered sugar. Nice and easy. So we're gonna start off by taking a stick of butter, just one. You wanna make sure it's room temperature so it's nice and soft so that way we can whip it. If you have a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you can use that, or you can just use your really strong muscles to whip it together. And then we are going to take about a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. Like so. And then we're gonna use a hand mixer, or like I said, you can use your really strong muscles to whip it together and make it really fluffy. good enough we got it all nice and whipped together all right and then in a second bowl we are going to mix some of our dry ingredients and we are going to put uh, in three-fourths of a cup of flour now we might need a little bit more once we start putting everything together but we're just going to start off with three-fourths and add more if we need to so there's one two three We are going to have a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Makes it nice and spicy. Like that. And then you're going to need just a little bit of salt. I'm going to use eight of a teaspoon of salt. And, and then we're going to 
whisk that together so that you can use a whisk so that helps keep it really, really fluffy. So we're gonna mix it up really quick. And then we forgot to add our vanilla, which is really important. So we want to add a half teaspoon of vanilla to our butter mixture. So we're gonna make it extra tasty. Alright. And now we're gonna put all of that together. So we're gonna take our flour mixture and put it in with our butter. And this is going to make a small recipe. So it's only gonna make about 12 cookies. And what's fun with this recipe is that once it starts mixing together really nicely, you can use your hands and we're gonna make them into little balls. So as you see, we're starting to get somewhere. And I'm actually just gonna use my hands my hands are clean. Always wash your hands before you're making uh, and really anything. You want to, anytime you're making food, you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean. And these are going to be really crumbly cookies when they're done. They're like a butter cookie. All right, starting to get together. You can see right here, it's a little bit better. Now, if it's a little too sticky, you can add in more flour. Like this is a pretty darn sticky. So I'm going to add a little bit more flour. Uh, just so that it's not sticky anymore. So you could add up to about a half or a fourth of a cup more if you want. And then you're gonna roll them into a ball. This will make about 12 cookies. And then you're going to bake them at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you're gonna get somewhere. You're gonna take some of the dough like this and roll into a ball. Now what's really fun is that you get to roll it in more cinnamon and sugar. So we're going to take a whole separate another bowl. You need three bowls for this. And we're going to take another half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to take another half a cup of powder or a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar. And we're going to mix that together, just like we did. It's easier to use a whisk. Like that. And then you're going to take your balls, and you're going to roll it in your cinnamon and powdered sugar mixture. So you can see, I made a little ball. And then I'm going to roll it, cover it in powdered sugar and cinnamon. And I'm going to put it on a, a whoop, that's hot on a cookie line, or a parchment line, uh, cookies, a little cookie sheet. And then you're gonna bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the, the video and then I will show you what the cookies look like when they're done. After just 15 minutes, I took them out of the oven and they look and smell delicious. Let's try one, all right? Mmm, very good, well, are really, really good. And they're meant to be really crumbly, so they're quite tasty. Hope you guys like it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!